What's up everybody? I'm doing a little bit of preventive maintenance on the fifth wheel. I've heard horror stories about leaf springs breaking. So you're watching Buck's Blogger. We're going to put some leaf springs on before these break. If you want to take a look down there, you can see that they're rusted. The bands have already come loose on me once. And I want to try and get a little bit more clearance so that when I back into the driveway, run a little slant, my back jack tends to hit, especially with the razor in there. So I went from a four leaf to a six leaf. Thank you, E-Trailer. Hopefully give me an extra inch maybe of lift. Half inch, I'll take it. First thing you gotta do is get your tires that broke loose. Then I use some jack stands here and here. You wanna make sure when you're jacking your fifth wheel or any trailer up, you jack from the frame, never jack from the axle. I have the axle supported by a bobble jack. I'm gonna go ahead and break these things loose. I have some new straps coming as well. They're not here for today's video, so you'll have to see that later on. They gotta take the U-bolts loose. Fun times. It's always better to do maintenance and let something happen on the road. Yeah, we're four years old now, and I've noticed that it is getting a little bit on the weaker side. And when we were in Salt Lake City going through, our trailer was wobbling side to side like crazy. Not chucking, not fish tailing, but wobbling. We felt like our truck was going to tip over. So, and then when we got to Antelope Island, we noticed that um, what are those called, honey? Antelopes, buffaloes. No, <laughs> this, these support things that hold the leaf springs together, these things were completely off. So we don't know if that had anything to do with it, but then we noticed that they were pretty rusty. So we're changing them out. Changing them out just to be on the safe side. It's weird that it's half metric and half standard. Uh, oh, hey, check this out. This is what a, can you see from that angle? This is the old leaf spring, which is a four. I went to a six. If you look at this underneath the trailer, these are almost flat with the weight on it. So I will show you that. You have to look across. See how those leaf springs over there are almost straight across? They don't have any U left to them. And they should have a nice bend like that. You can tell the difference here in the center line. That one's been replaced. This one has not. When I jack that one back up, we're going to gain probably three inches of clearance, I would imagine. It's going to be awesome. When you take these bolts loose, mine anyway, are pressed in from the back. So break the nut loose in the front. I'll try and break the, the back loose. If that makes any sense, I don't know if you can see that neural on the back side of the bolt. It's actually pressed into the shackle. So I broke it loose from the back, and that's how I got that. Break it through from the front. Since they're knurled, you gotta beat them out. I leave the nut on so when I bang on it, it does not damage the threads because I'm reusing the same bolt. Sorry, you don't want me filming in case I slip and say anything not appropriate. Good morning, everybody. We're doing this side now. All the parts finally showed up. I didn't really want to show you too much of the other side because. I wanted to learn how to do it before I gave you any advice. So what I learned from this, doing that side to this side is, one, when you go to a new leaf spring, I went from a four to a six, you gain four inches, approximately three and a half to four inches. You get better quality components. These are the shackles that I'm putting on. Those are the shackles that we took off. As you can see, they're twice as thick. 
These are called wet bolts. They come with a jerk fitting so you can grease them. These get tightened to 80 pounds of pressure. These are going to come right here. So we're replacing this equalizer. Stu, I don't think you saw this because I bought these while I was waiting for the parts for a new trailer. This is a Moride suspension system. This gives you flexibility and shock absorbers right here. So this also is more heavy duty. All brass bushings. We're going to replace the poly bushings that go in here, 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 all the way throughout. I did learn that you need to jack it up higher, way higher than I expected <coughs> before. Because before I just got the tires off the ground and pulled everything off. It's important to support your axles with some jack stands or a jack because when you take this apart, the axle is going to have a tendency to want to lower, and this is the side that has your brakes, so you don't want to pull on your brake cables. So your torque spe specs on these are going to be 80 foot-pounds. I did not, the only thing that you're going to use in your new, when you replace, if you get shackles, leaf springs, and equalizer, the only thing that you will retain are your U-bolts and nuts. The rest of these are going to get pounded out. These are knurled, I found out. This has a knurl on the back side of the, the bolt, so you want to loosen from the nut side. Then you actually have to tap it out with a hammer. I'll show you. You're going to reuse these nuts and bolts or save them. You can put the nut back on there. You don't bugger up your thread. Doing this side in the shade today, which is nice. I think I might have mentioned that. That has a knurl on the back. So do not try and loosen the head side. You want to loosen the nut side, which will be the front. On mine, anyway. I went ahead and broke that loose and caused myself a little bit of a blood blister there. Be careful with jack stands. Made a couple blood blisters here. Don't slap those down while they're loose or they will bite you. So, we'll show you what it looks like. One safety tip when you do go to your suspension, make sure you ask a professional. I didn't ask a professional, I just wanted to raise mine up. But make sure you measure your air conditioner height when you're done so that you're not going to interfere with any bridges, low overheads. We'll show you more as we get it on. Now, a lot of people think that you need to have new U bolts, but that's not really the case, is it? We were able to reuse our U bolts. If I'd gone any higher, I would have had to get new U-bolts. Could you use new U-bolts? Absolutely. I'm, I only have about an eighth of an inch of thread sticking out, but it's enough where I feel safe because it's threaded all the way through the nut. So you don't necessarily always have to replace those. No, and a good tip for you, when you get these leaf springs, they're going to come with, the new ones come with poly bushings inside. This Moride kit, if you look, there's brass bushings that they give you in the that, This part? Yeah. They give you those that actually go in the leaf spring. So I didn't know how to get those out. So I went online and I looked. And all you do is get a socket that's the same size as the poly bushing. And you just tap it and it'll push that poly bushing all the way out. And then you go ahead and slide the brass one right in. I used the hammer just to tap it tapped in real easy. Nice. Real easy. Hopefully this will help us from our jacks scraping on the ground sometimes. They absolutely will not scrape anymore. I measured it and we had four inches higher. If you want to show them the, well, you can't show them now because it's, it's liquid, but we'll show them when it's done. Yeah. The wet junk they give you from the factory. No surprise, right? Right. All right, it's not that bad of a job. Once you do one side, the other side's even easier. I tried to show you before and after of the cheap parts, but the camera decided to die. If you went from this, if you have this, which you can tell is flat and rusty and yucky looking, this is from a 2020 as well, it's only four years old, to this, that's what it looks like when it's in. I just wanted to give you guys a shot before I put the tires on. Remember to take a 
extra measurement of your height. That's thread locker. Give you an idea of the difference in thickness on those shackles. It's night and day. There's the equalizer and shackle side by side. The shackles are your weak point. These are 80 pound foot pounds, 80 foot pounds of torque on those. See the U-bolts, I reused them. Some people say get new U-bolts. I had enough thread and I feel like they're in good shape. Don't mind my plastic bag there, I gotta get a clamp. The overflow wants to keep flowing when we go over hills, so I gotta get a valve and shut that off. Thanks for watching Buck's blog, suspension upgrade.